are coming. If we leave now, we just might get away. Hello? Oh, you got the wrong number. Sorry, man. Why would anyone have that as their ringtone? Game time's now? So, yeah. After going through all the basics of the series as the Doctor, you come across your final enemy, the Daleks. You know... I don't understand this. The Doctor is traveling from planet to planet and defeating his nemesis in a children's card game. And look at the planets. When he battles Martha, it's obviously Earth. But, but what about the Daleks? Wasn't Scarrow destroyed? So where is he? How did he get there? Why the hell is he even challenging the Daleks to a card game? Wouldn't they just find it irrelevant and just shoot him? I still can't believe you have a Dalek ringtone. Yeah? Well, I can't believe you challenged Daleks to a children's card game. That was lame. Exceptionally. Well, there we go. Dalek's defeated now and I've beaten the... Ga game? Well, wait a minute. What's this? I'm a Sladeen now? Enjoy the rubber suit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Well, at least I don't have a fake British accent. My accent's not fake! Well, if you can believe it, I now have to play the game all, all over again as a Sladeen. Oh, and it doesn't end there. It keeps going and going until I've played all the characters. So you think after going through all that bullcrap, I could expect some sort of ending. Maybe the Doctor flying off in the TARDIS or something generic like that. But no, not even close. All I get is a congratulations with the same stock footage that I've been looking at the entire time the game saves. I mean, what bullshit is this? I just spent an entire day playing the most repetitive card game ever, and for what? I mean, couldn't you at least call me brilliant or something? I'll have you know that Cleopatra said that I had a very distinguished and soothing tone of voice. So, yeah. Bullcrap ending and then the game starts all over again. But what about all that stuff that I unlocked while playing Adventure Mode? Well, besides the profiles of all the characters and the Halls of Time high scores, the game actually has mini-games. And boy, are they bland. Bland mini-games in a children's card game. Inconceivable. There's high-low where you guess that the hidden card will have a higher or lower category, cyber sequence where you keep your eye on the card, interrogation where it's like a true or false game with cards, and memory matrix where you're shown three cards and asked about a certain category. Supposedly while in adventure mode, every time you win, you steal your opponent's cards, though what cards and where they go are beyond me, seeing as they never see them again. You know, there's a two-player mode. I should be getting back to my own universe now. Uh, wait a minute, that's not fair! That oh, can't be helped, really. Your universe doesn't have time laws. I'm disrupting the space-time continuum just by being here. Of course, you can come with me. Really? 
I can come with you? Oh, um, I meant him, actually. Sorry. Well, it's just I've never had a bunny before, and he's tremendous. Ah!